My pastor, C. Ernest Tatham, said to me, when are you going to build us a school? The King's Academy. Since the beginning, TKA has been built on the foundation of prayer and dependence on the Lord. The King's Academy is an independent Christian school located on a beautiful 20-acre campus in West Palm Beach, Florida. We recognize the fact that we were so dependent on the leadership of the Lord because we just, we never <laughs> started a Christian uh, school before. The bills were big. I mean, we were in debt. But we just all said, God is faithful to us. We're going to be faithful to Him. And so we said, build the school. 50 years, wow, that's huge. If you know me personally, you know I love numbers and stats. And as I look back at the 50 years of the King's Academy, we have so many numbers and stats to be proud of. There have been achievements, awards, and growth all throughout our years here at TKA. If you follow us on social media, you'll see us celebrating these accomplishments all the time, and we thank you for celebrating with us. I'm here with a few members of the King's Academy 1986 graduating class. Dave, your fondest memories at King's Academy? I like to come to school, go to class, do homework. It's the really fun stuff, huh? Yeah. The class of 2017 has really impacted my life because um, when I first came to King's, they really accepted me as a family. Hey. Well, I've changed a lot. I learned to be more confident. Um, well, I'm going to college. I'm going to go to Bryan College, and um, I'm going to try to play basketball there. Um, I plan on attending Penn State. I'm Stephanie Gerald, and I've been here at King's all my life. And I'm going to <laughs> Stanford University in Alabama. I'm going to try to study engineering. I'm going to major in biomedical engineering, hopefully in the future working in a hospital, building prosthetics for injured war veterans. I'm going to be the first woman governor of Florida. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say to the senior class in maybe 15 or 20 years? They'll see this and something they'll like to remember about you. No. Okay. Hey, yeah, hey. And the winner, 1989 homecoming queen for this year is Miss Dee Dee. Miss Yvonne Miss Donna Corliss. Gigi Perez. Miss Catherine James. Jennifer Lynn Spell. I was at King's from junior kindergarten to senior year, and I loved every bit of it. I love that we were taught to be good people. I loved everything about it, my experience here. I often say I'd go back and relive my senior year if I could. Through 50 years, God has been so gracious to us in bringing some of the best educators and godly leaders. When you ask people here at King's what they love about King's, almost every time you get the response, it's the people who make King's. It's the family atmosphere. The thing that's mo been most important all the way through, the thing that's kept me here, um, besides the fact that my kids got a wonderful education, um, is the people that I've worked with. I felt the family atmosphere right away because obviously we're Christian brothers and sisters, but it wasn't just that in word only, it was in deed. It really was. Mr. Gentry, he taught my mom in sixth grade. Um, and my mom like loved him and then I got to have him. There's obviously something special about a school if a teacher is willing to stick around to see two generations of kids come through there. I never really grew up with a father figure and so I had several father figures here that I looked up to, Jeff Loveland, Gary Slade. You know, the love that they showed me, I wanted that for my children. I remember Mrs. Rayers I had in my third grade year. She came to the hospital almost every night for weeks that my dad was so sick. And Mrs. Rayers would sit with me and pray with me.
I will never forget that. That was something that was just so beautiful and just how just showing the hands and feet of Jesus. Like that's what he would have done. And those are the kind of people that are here. There's been so many times where I've reached out to teachers in like really hard times in my life just because I feel like they care about me as a person, not just my grades and passing the class. At Kings, our teachers are so loving and nurturing that they prepare the students to handle very difficult concepts in their class, but they do it in a safe environment and with the Christian framework as the foundation of all we do. There have been many, so many times when the Lord has provided the right person for the right time at King's Academy, whether it's a science teacher or somebody in the business office or what it, whatever it is, it seems like they have the skills that you need right then for that time. And uh, I'd like to think that I'm smart enough to have hired you know, those people, but I know it's the Lord putting those people in, the, uh, in front of me. I'm a firm believer of in high school, you should do as much as you can. Um, treat it as a buffet, you know. You wouldn't go to your favorite restaurant, buffet restaurant, and just have a carrot. You're going to have a little bit of everything. So I would like to see the kids participate in a fall sport, winter, and spring. King's Academy in first place. Give it up for King's Academy. There was a lot of great players that came through, a lot of great athletes. You know, you could name a lot of them, but the the constant factor in that whole time is John Ronkase. Every program we started was from the ground up. And uh, so naturally, I had to be the coach of a lot of those teams. I know he set a state record for having 10 straight district championships. And uh, my senior year was the 10th one that he won. Um, and we're just so proud of what we were able to accomplish with him and his teaching. You know, one coach stands out in my mind, and that's Jeff Loveland. Yeah. Well, I started coaching about uh, January of 1980. I started coaching junior high, and I took over football. I don't even remember what year, but some great teams and great kids along the way, and not always great seasons, but um, those kids worked hard. I had some great players. Watching our teams go from, as I said, to where we didn't know which end of the ball was up to where we were winning state championships was very gratifying and, and it, I was uh, grateful for the opportunity to be a part of all that. Our football program, our cheer program, the experiences through King's Regiment and the dancers and then any other program that we offer that is extracurricular in nature um, is an incredible platform to impact young people for the Lord. I believe one of the key components of it has been the undervalued element of consistent continuity in leadership. If the only thing they get from their four years with me as their football coach is how to win football games, I think, you know, I think I failed them as their coach. Um, we've got to teach them how to be a better man, a better Christian, a better son, and when the time comes, a better husband and a, and a better father. And in all those times in your life, there's going to be toughness. And at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter what your overall GPA is, it doesn't matter how many championship rings you have, it's the people who persevere that are going to win in life and um, that's what we're trying to build. We're trying to build tough people who are going to win in life. And then the most important element of any athletic experience here at the King's Academy is are we using it for what we call eternity in athletics? Are we using the athletic experience to direct young people's attention to the eternally significant lessons that they can learn through that experience and that's all about the coach player relationship because that's what it's about it's about you know impacting these kids not for the four years they're here but for the 40 years or 50 years after in those early years they uh, they put up with a lot uh, we didn't we didn't when I when we began the high school choir we didn't have a place to rehearse so we would walk across the street to the church across the street. Then they cleared out a utility shed and we 
we would have to march into that thing like going into an airplane, single file, and file out the same way. That was our rehearsal place. The band used to rehearse under the bleachers in the, uh, in the old gym. So it was just such an encouragement to see the program uh, continue to escalate. And uh, looking at them today, I'm just so proud. It's really cool and exciting to just see how big it's gotten. The, the depth um, of talent and the scope of, of skill sets and the scope of learning, and also just in the overall professionalism of the students. These, I, you know, you forget that these students are in high school. <laughs> it's insane now. It's just unbelievable. Uh, it's about 50 times larger in almost every way. I mean, and the shows are still like the best thing you'll see in this county. <laughs> It's really enjoyable to make people um, smile sometimes. There was this lady yesterday that came up to me and she started crying when she saw me. And she was just like, you gave me so much joy that I, that I haven't had in a while. And which actually, that's kind of like, that's why I do this kind of stuff. I think the biggest reward would be the team atmosphere slash um, environment that's created when you're, you create music together. There's just something unique about students coming together and playing a piece of music that might be challenging, might be emotional, but having so many students, like around 30 students coming together and creating music as an entire, as one entity, um, is something that's really rewarding. Can we go back to that? Can we go back to 339 going into that 32? That's a tough lick. It's a tough cut. Kings gave me the opportunity at a young age to be able to do what I always wanted to do and to get good at it. No matter who they are, no matter how great their talent is, their talent is God's. And so my responsibility is to cultivate that talent. I also feel that that's what I'm going to be held accountable for when I stand before my Lord. The growth of it is just, it truly could only be because God was involved. And um, it's been, it's not surprising, right? But uh, it's it's pretty remarkable, and it's, it's it's it gives you a lot of pride to know that you were a part of some of the years that kind of helped form that. Mr. Snyder is amazing. I just see God work in him, and he's been such an influence to me, and. Um, just growing me musically and in my faith, uh, it's been a huge blessing. And like the Lord just blessed us and we try to just give it all back to Him. And then after it's all over at the first show, it's just like, wow, that's why you do it.
I know that we are successful only because the Lord has chosen to keep his hand on us. I pray continually that God expands our territory here, and, um, and that's exactly what he's done. You see behind me this incredible facility, and it's because the Lord has sought fit to, to continue to bless us. And, and I think we're, uh, we're a living example of when we do our part and we work really hard, the Lord ex totally multiplies our abilities and our gifts, and I think that's the joy of what we're seeing right now. They're truly seeing at every level in this program what God does with their ability when they offer it back. And they get to see the Lord work, not just talk about it, but I, I love that they're actually seeing the Lord work in the progress, in the process of it all. So. Um, that's, I think, I know, that's why we're where we're at. Wow, thanks to my parents for sending me here. That's, yeah, that's where I that would leave it. That sums it up. That's a good place to leave it. Even if I wasn't in a fine arts program, just being at the school in mm -hmm. general, holy moly. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>In 1974, just four years into our existence, the King's Academy's light in the community was nearly snuffed out. But board chair Nelson Loveland stated that he had worked too hard to see the school fail. And here we are today, TKA standing with our doors wide open and our light shining throughout the world, welcoming students from 20 different countries. We are inspired by the dedication, commitment, and sacrifice of people who have helped build TKA when we see that God has taken their vision and surpassed it at the center of it all Jesus at the center of it all From beginning to the end It will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Good evening. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank all the people who make the King's Academy excellent. As I look back on my years at King's, I realize how greatly blessed I have been to attend such a school. Coming to King's is a blessing that should not be taken for granted by us. Thank you for striving to create an environment in which we as students are challenged to grow spiritually as well as academically and socially. We could not have asked for better role models or for more godly men and women to teach us and to guide us. Let us not take for granted the impact the school has made on our lives. Oh, Jesus be I'm so blessed to have attended such an amazing school for all these years and thankful for all the memories that will go with me for the rest of my life. It seems that it was just yesterday that I climbed onto that big yellow school bus for the first time. Almost a decade and a half of my life have been spent in King's classrooms, in King's hallways, on King's sports teams, and sadly, doing an ample amount of King's homework. It seems like everyone forgets all the grueling hours that we put into our work and then come and say at graduation, your time flies by so fast. Well, it doesn't. But now we're graduating. Our great day has finally arrived. This is probably one of the most important days of our life so far because it represents our official entrance into adulthood. Adolescence, I'm learning, is a difficult journey of finding oneself. I am also learning that maybe the journey never really ends. This evening, I would like for you to consider something that has been plaguing the minds of mankind since the beginning of time, purpose. We tend to overthink and analyze too much, but our purpose is very clear, and that is to lead others to Christ. There is no greater good than you can do for a person than to love them so much that you point them to Jesus Christ. We were put on this earth to show people Jesus. To live our lives in an exemplary way that we may go out into this world and make a true difference for the Lord. I want you to know that no matter how far you turn away from God, you cannot keep Him from working in your life. It is my prayer that this solid base would serve not only as a cornerstone on which you will build your future, but also as a springboard from which you can leap to grasp the opportunities and blessings which are surely to come. At the King's Academy, we have been taught all these values. It is now up to us to put these traits into action. 
I pray that you go into the world and above all else, love people. Always put positive treatment of others before personal success. God looks favorably upon people who faithfully take care of his children. Graduates, please move your tassels from the right side to the left. And congratulations. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen.